Well, welcome back. This is our week four update. That is a snakeskin drying. So, weather has obviously cleared up. It's really nice today. It's like only supposed to be 70. Um, but it's been a little warmer. Yesterday, we went on one of our hunting walks, which means that we usually come back empty handed <laughs> at this point in time, but that'll change. That was a bird hopping over there. Um, but we did come across a snake. And one thing we've been wanting to do is try snake and see if it's as good as people say. And it absolutely is delicious. Um, so we, well, she skinned it <laughs> and gutted it and breaded it. Seems to be my job. Yeah, and fried it. And as one of those I kind of expected, like, yeah, I can handle it, but it's it's not something I would choose to eat. Um, honestly, I could have it again today and be totally happy. Um, in fact, she went walking around looking for another snake last night. I think she was craving it. <laughs> so four weeks in, what do you think, love? Um, I think I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I think that I want a more permanent shade situation. Yeah. Now that we've tried, this is our third attempt, I think, at shade yeah. out here. Yep. So maybe this one will work. <laughs> maybe. Um, other than that, it's been good. It's nice just to kind of do a couple projects a day. I mean, the shed was a bitch, but... Yeah, but look, it's still <laughs> it's there, a couple days. and we've had some hellacious wind. We had like 25 mile an hour winds yesterday, and, yeah, it's... and it's still there. It didn't even move or buckle or anything. Yeah, so good job, me. Yeah, you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like it out here. I think I can stay. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's it's good. We've walked so you know one of our reasons for moving out here. Um, that we did that first video on a while back was to have a more healthy lifestyle and we definitely eat more healthy and I think we're eating less overall because we're not bored um, and we're getting a lot more exercise so here lately I've just been using the thing on my phone to track steps and I don't always take my phone with me but I take multiple walks a day, just I'm gonna go check out that area and then I'm gonna go check out that area and then down there. And then sometimes we'll go out together and take a big long walk and I'm walking somewhere over four miles a day on that plus just what we're doing around here. And you realize with physical activity, you know, when you can't just throw your load of laundry, <laughs> into a machine and call it good. Uh, this week we had to catch up on laundry because it had been raining and storming and it, you just can't hang clothes up to dry. And we were busy getting our power and water and kind of all that stuff hooked up. We spent, and I would guess somewhere eight to 10 hours doing laundry over a three day period. But that means that's eight to 10 hours over a wash tub uh, with her washing and, you know, running everything over the washboard. It's actually a very physical job. And me on the rinse tub, rinsing everything, wringing it out. So, kind of every... Yeah. Yeah, my forearms are getting to be like Popeyes from that. Uh, so, everything we do out here is more physical. And, you know, to walk across this property is... Uh, 320 yards, I think. From one in. 960 yard feet. Yeah, 960 yeah, feet. So, and when we first moved out here, I was like excited to do that, but it really felt like a chore. Um, and now I walk down there multiple times a day. And sometimes I'm at the end of the property and I'm still walking and I don't even realize, like, oh God, I'm here already. So. 
just being more active at all overall has helped. Um, you know, and it's, I think it's helped our perspective. Um, cause for us to walk, you know, do like a big four mile loop through the desert isn't really a big deal. Um, and then a burst shower hits while we're out in the middle of it and we didn't run back home. We're like, okay, well, <laughs> we're already wet. Let's just keep going and see what we can find. And, uh, you know, we found some pretty cool stuff. Found a coyote skull recently. So, um, our other project that we wanted to do is get shade up. This was put up this morning. So we used T-post and eye bolts and had a uh, tarp, actually two tarps put together to cover this whole area from Tia's trailer and across ours. And it worked out great. And then the next day, uh, we had two days of windstorm. So the next day, uh, the wind was not kind with that tarp. So that had to come down. Yeah, it almost ripped one of those bolts straight through the trailer. Um, so I had to fix that. So that's something we do out here. You know, we try to get creative and work with what we had. We just had those tarps. That's why we did that. Um, and ultimately we knew that wasn't going to be a permanent solution either, but, um, you know, we tried it. So our new temporary solution is these shade tarps cause they won't catch the wind and they're a lot lighter. So when they do pull, they're not, uh, putting as much force on things. It'll give us some shade. And then eventually, uh, we're going to put some four by four posts up and frame that and have everything kind of permanently attached to that and set up to where in the winter time we can throw a tarp over the top and screw that in all around to keep the snow and stuff off of this area so we're getting there uh, so that's kind of one of our key things too we do a lot of temporary solutions but before we do that we make sure that whatever we're using if we're having to buy something that it can be reused elsewhere. Um, so those T-posts, we can pull them out and still use them, uh, which we'll need to eventually. Fencing, uh, we need to do a goat bin, which is gonna be over here in that clearing. So they'll get used. Um, we have T-posts up for laundry line over there as well. Again, it was a cheap fix so that we could hang up our laundry now. Um, next month or something when we have a little bit of funding built up we will get actual poles and put them in concrete and do that and then those t-posts will be used up for something else uh, buying that shade yesterday if we can't use it like if this isn't going to work and we'll find out when the wind picks up later <laughs> um but that is something we can use. I mean, we can still put that over animal pens for extra shade, or I mean, we can use it under uh, raised garden beds to keep the weeds down. I mean, there's a lot of things that that can be used for, so it's kind of what we do there. Other than that, I think, let's see, we tried snake, we got shade. Um, I just finished filming the solar panel, digging deeper, so. I'm gonna put both of these up today. And uh, I talk about fixing the truck. Chickens. We need to talk about these chickens real quick. We're gonna get over here. So we have if you have animals for food or whatever, you shouldn't name them. You shouldn't make them pets. That one right there. Her name is Naked Neck. Um, because, well, she has no feathers on her neck. Before we got her, she had been attacked by a dog and saved. We also call her Mama. She is our absolute favorite chicken. She has got a great personality. She likes to be picked up and carried around. She likes to be petted. Um, and her eggs 
are huge. Ever since we've moved here, we don't get her eggs. She lays them, and we thought one of those black chickens was eating them. And we actually found out that she's eating her own eggs. So, a reality on a homestead is, you know, pets are important, they serve a purpose, but if you have an animal that is, you know, it's just like any business. You gotta weigh <laughs> cost versus uh, return. And right now she eats a lot of food. In fact, she's at the top of the pecking order, so she gets food before the others, and we get nothing from her. So, um, we might be saying goodbye to her. That's, that's just a reality. And it's going to happen eventually anyway. But uh, it is sad because she's the one we actually kind of got attached to. Um, so, that's sad. But whatever. I mean, it is what it is. She will provide food in another way. One last time. I'm hearing something off there. I think it's a hawk flying somewhere. I don't know. But sun's out, gun's out. I'm going to uh, do gun cleaning today. Which is just a good idea since we kind of go out shooting quite a bit. But I'm also going to go on one of my little hunting trips and see if I can come back with anything. Everybody out there, stay safe, be good to each other, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share our channel or our videos uh, on your social media. We are also now on Twitter, um, at cave underscore ranch. I'll try to put a link if I remember, which I usually don't, and it'll end up being up there later. <laughs> um... So we're on Instagram and Twitter, um, and I did rejoin Facebook, but that's not for the public. <laughs> um, but yeah, Twitter, um, where we can just share small videos and pictures and updates all day long of what we're doing. Uh, and I've got a whole whopping two followers already, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, share our videos out, um, and... We'd really appreciate that and get some other people watching. And everybody out there, have a great rest of your week.